Sairam students, welcome to class four maths, maths online classes. Children, today we will start with chapter number one, that is numbers beyond nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. So let's start. So children, in this chapter, first we will see five-digit and six-digit numbers. In your previous classes, you have uh, you are acquainted with four-digit numbers. So in this chapter we will start with five digit and six digit numbers the largest you know that the largest four digit number is 9999 or simply you write four times 9 okay so the largest four digit number is 9999 and when we add one to it we get 10000 which is the smallest five digit number okay it can be also read as 10 10000 can be also read as 1 10000 similarly if it is 2 20000 it can be read as 2 10000 50000 can be read as 5 10000 okay and so on similarly the largest five digit number is 99999 or simply you write five times 9 okay and then when we add 1 to 99999 we get 1 lakh which is the smallest six digit number now 1 lakh can be read as 10 10000 if you will just see here you can see here this is 1 lakh if we just separate this 10 from here we get 10000 here therefore it is read as 10 10000 which is is equal to 1 lakh okay so these are this is uh, about five digit and six digit numbers now just read this number try to read this number children which is at the extreme left side on the top side you can see this number this is 36875 just try to read this number children can you read this yes you can read it it is 36875 so how you are able to read this number children yes because you know the place value of each digit here you can see here from the extreme right side the digit is 5 whose place value is here ones you can see here o stands for ones then the place value of 7 here is tens okay the place value of 7 is 7 tens then the place value of 8 here is 100 h stands for hundreds then the place value of 6 here is thousands and the place value of 3 here is 3 ten thousands okay so we can read this uh, write this number as 3 ten thousands because the place value of 3 is ten thousands plus 6 thousands plus 8 hundreds plus 7 tens plus 5 ones okay if you will see that number on abacus you can see different rods here which represent the different place values here o rod uh, this is rod o so we'll start with rod 10000 here because this is a five digit number so it will be having five place values here so rod tth or 10000 it reads in 10000s then rod th or 1000 it reads in thousands then rod h it reads in hundreds then rod t it reads in tens t stands for tens and rod o stands it reads in ones so we are able to read this number as 36875 similarly if it is a six digit number we need six digits written under lakhs 10000 1000 100 tens and ones column okay so now children we will see how to write the number name of large numbers so to write the number name of large numbers we divide them into groups each group is called a period for example if you see this number here if you can see this number here this number you can see here this is 8 1 3 7 5 4 6 this is a large number 
so how you will be reading it first you have to write this number then what you will do you will start from extreme right and make a group of three digits why three digits because these three digits will fall under the period of ones you can see here the place value chart here you can see yes here you can see the place value chart this is the period of this is the period of here you can see this is the period of ones which is having three places that is the place value of ones then tens and then hundreds you can see here then comes the period of thousands which is having two places that is thousands and ten thousands okay and then comes the period of lakhs which is having two places that is lakhs and ten lakhs okay so what are these these are the these are the periods that is period of ones period of thousands and period of lakhs this is according to indian numeral system so the place value of that uh, period of ones is having three places that is ones tens and hundreds then the period of thousands it has two places that is thousands and ten thousands and then the period of lakhs has two places that is lakhs and 10 lakhs okay now accordingly we will write these digits each digit in this number in their respective places so we will write this 6 in the ones place 4 in the tens place 5 in the hundreds place 7 in the thousands place 3 in the 10 thousands place 1 in the lakhs place and 8 in the 10 lakhs place now we will name this number as 81 lakh you can write the number name easily now 81 lakh 37546 okay so in this way you can write number name of any digit any number you can write the number name easily now children i have given you some questions for your practice you will write these questions in your notebook maths notebook and you will practice for them you will solve all these questions some numbers i have given you have to group the given numbers by separating them using commas and also write the numbers na number names now how you will be putting the comma let me give you one example here let me solve the question number c here for you okay so first what you will do children first let's write this number here 5 4 0 3 2 and 7 okay now just below them you will write the place value of each digit here so let's write the place value of each digit here so the place value of 7 uh, here is ones let me write with the okay the place value of 7 here is ones the place value of 2 is tens the place value of 3 here is hundreds place value of 0 here is thousand place value of 4 is 10 10000 and the place value of 5 here is lakh okay now you can see these hundred tens and ones they are in the period of ones thousand and 10000 they are in the period of thousand and this 5 is in the period of lakh itself So now, where we will put the comma? We will put the comma where the two periods are getting separated. So this is the period of ones and thousand. Where they are getting separated? They are separating here between zero and three here. Okay, and where the period of lakh and uh, thousand is getting separated here. So we'll put the commas at the respective places. Now we'll write this number here as five lakh forty thousand. Three hundred twenty-seven. Now we can write this number name as well. The uh, number name for this number uh, given number, we will write it as five lakh. Sorry, it will be five lakh forty thousand five lakh forty thousand. Three hundred twenty 
7. So, similarly, you will write the number name of each digit, each given number. First, you will write the place value just below the given digit. And then you will separate them into different periods. Okay, the period of 1000 and lakhs. And then you will write their number. First, then you will put the commas where the two uh, periods are getting separated. And then you will write their number names. Okay, similarly, you will solve these given questions in your maths homework notebook or uh, you can solve in your uh, maths notebook, classwork notebook as well and you will practice for them. Okay, so children, that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Till then, thank you.